What's going on, man? Feeling good. Feeling good, man. Just got finished working out. Just doing my uh, got finished doing my 500 push-ups. I got some uh, cut up tomatoes here with black pepper and salt. I ate a bell pepper, and then I got a smoothie that I made, and um. That's all I'm, uh, that's what I'm doing, man. So it's, uh, what time is it? Three o'clock, three o'clock Saturday. I'm chilling. Welcome to the channel. Hit that like button. Y'all can see me good. Get you a pair of these shorts, get the shirt. I got the shorts right here. Get you a pair of these shorts. I got the nice white ones. I'm going to be getting some black ones too. I'm going to be getting some more black. Got the orange. And then we got the shirt. Get you a nice shirt. There's the shirt. This is an extra large. And this is the shirt that I got on. Mailman D, what's up, baby? I see you. Thank you for your channel membership. No, I don't track no macros. I don't do none of that, man. Don't ask me none of that. I don't do none of that. I know you. I don't mean nothing personal. Don't take it personal. But I don't do nothing nobody else on YouTube does or what they say they do. Because a lot of times what they say they do, they don't do. Or what they do, they don't say that they do it. I don't do none of that. I don't do none of that. Okay, my other phone over there. Y'all make sure you follow me on my Instagram. Now my mail, my, my birthday was Monday, D. My birthday was Monday, man, March 11th. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Go up there, hit them three dots, and hit the, hit the like button in there. I just turned 55 years old. Anthony Milan. Anthony, no, 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 no disrespect, man. I'm just, uh, I'm hyper. I just got finished working out, so it might have come off the wrong way. Don't take it personal. If you're new to the channel, you'll find out that that's just me. I'm high strung like that. But I'm, you know, I don't mean no disrespect, man. So please don't be offended. But I don't count macros. I don't do none of that. All I do is work out and go to sleep and take naps every once in a while man that's it um you know the title of this video is you know why i don't take supplements and why i have never taken supplements on my calisthenics journey um if you want to get a if you want to get one of these shirts uh go on my website let me put that link in there. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Right there. There you go. And let me pin it. Okay, so the link, if you want to get some of my merch is right there on the bottom of the screen. Uh, you could go on that, you could get the shirt, the shorts. I got the hoodies. The hoodies are here. These are the hoodies. Um, I have never taken supplements uh, on my journey, on my calisthenics journey. I don't take creatine i don't take protein powder i don't drink excuse me i don't eat protein cookies i don't go to gnc or vitamin shop or no i don't order no type of whey protein i don't drink muscle milk 
I don't drink nothing. I don't do no protein powders, no nothing. I'm 55 years old. I don't take TRT. I don't do HGH. Um, uh, I don't do HGH. I don't do TRT. I don't do nothing, right? And the reason, the reason that I don't use any supplements is because I don't ever want to think in my mind that the work that I put in and the gains that I get is a result of a supplement. You understand? Um, I don't ever want to think and handicap my mind um, and make myself think that in order for me to get a better looking chest, a nicer body, bigger legs, bigger calves or whatever, a nicer physique to lose weight, that I got to take something uh, outside of me in order to bring that about. Um, and that's just how I look at, you know, my fitness journey. When I came home from, when I came home from prison in 2016, I got out of prison January, 2016. I did 16 months in the federal prison system here in the United States. And I worked out and I trained like I have never ever trained in my life. Um, I didn't even know that my body was capable of doing some of the workouts or even completing the most strenuous workouts. I mean, putting my body through torture and fatigue like I had never done before. And in prison, we were lifting weights and niggas was doing calisthenics. I was doing calisthenics. I was doing a lot of push-ups and a lot of dips. I wasn't really good at pull-ups. Um, but I learned that the full thing of calisthenics is the way to go, right? Um, Pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats. So I got myself into the best shape that I had ever been in in my entire life. I got myself stronger than I had ever been in my entire life. And um, I was doing bench press, deadlift, squats, back, tricep, bicep, curl, weights I had, you know, pounds that I had never ever done before. And I said to myself, I said, yo, when I get out, man, I'm going to be drinking them protein drinks. You know, I'm going to get me uh, some protein powder. I'm going to get the protein shake. And my mind and my thought was that that would enhance my look. And... I wasn't really too worried about strength. It was more about the look for me. For me, it's about the look. So as soon as I got out in 2016, um, I kept going to the gym. I got a membership at LA Fitness. And after every workout, I was continuing to lift weights. After every workout, I would go to the juice bar and tell them to fix me a protein shake with the banana, the milk, and then they would put the scoops of the protein in. 
I would always pay for an extra scoop. And what it did to me was that it took away all of my cuts, right? It made me bigger a little bit, but all of the cuts that I had from when I got out the joint were all gone within like two months of taking the protein powder. And I'm drinking muscle milk and I'm drinking lean body and I'm drinking uh, metrics, you know, EAS, protein. I'm, I'm doing all of this stuff, right? And I did it probably for about six months and then I stopped, right? And I stopped lifting weights because lifting weights, I constantly stayed injured, I stayed sore, I stayed hungry. When I lift weights, I stay hungry and I'm eating all the time and I'm eating all the time and it's taking away my cuts, right? It's taking away from my physique, right? Because that's what it's about for me. For, for me, on my calisthenics journey, it's about how I look. Right? I'm not interested in getting strong. I'm not interested in getting big. I'm interested in when I take my shirt off, how do I look? That's the key with me. So, um, I cut out the weights, I stopped lifting weights, and I just say, yo, Sean, we just gonna go straight. We just gonna go straight. Um, we just gonna go straight. just gonna go straight calisthenics sorry about that y'all trying to get my other phone hooked up so I can see the comments we just gonna go straight calisthenics and that's what I did and when I went straight calisthenics I stopped taking the protein powders I stopped taking everything I stopped eating I was eating the the protein cookies the protein bars just anything that had protein I was eating it when I first got out but then I stopped and um, you know up to today, since about 2017, I haven't taken any type of protein powder. I don't do none of that, right? And I noticed that, um, you know, I look better. My cuts are locked in a little better. Um, and that's what I do, you know? When I was in prison, it was niggas in there with me that were taking protein powder, creatine, steroids. You know, they were getting it in. It was getting on the compound. You know, I don't know how it was getting in there, but there was supplements, uh, protein powders and creatine and steroids and BCAAs, all kind of shit. Hydroxy cut, all that stuff was floating around uh, in federal prison. And niggas approached me to buy some. I didn't want none, you know, because I said to myself, I says, I always used to look at the dudes that used to go to jail and come home and how they would look. And I said, man, that body, man, the bodies and the physiques they would have, excuse me, when they would come out would be unlike anything anybody on the street looked at, looked like, you know what I'm saying? That prison body look has its own distinct, exclusive look. You can take the most ripped up fitness model, you know, who's on Instagram with a million followers and he's all ripped up and chiseled up, you know, and then you take a nigga that come out of prison and you can tell the difference, man, that his look 
the nigga that's coming out of jail is totally different. It's a more uh, robust look. It's a more uh, rougher look, right? It's a thicker look. It's a more, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Um, it's just a more grittier look, right? And it just looks different, right? And so I said, when I went to prison, I said, man, I didn't come in here to take supplements to fake it. Like, so when I get out that, yo, I got the prison body, I said, I'm going to get me a real prison body. Since I'm in here, I'm going to do the work and get a real prison body, man, a real prison look. And, um, you know, what I did and what we did with the niggas I worked out with was we did an insane amount of reps. You worked out seven days a week. Your workouts, there was no such thing as one workout in a day. That was no such thing. The dudes that worked out once in a day, you know, I didn't have anything in common with them. The, at the minimum, at the very minimum, I was working out two times a day. Some days it'd be three workouts, right? So that's why a nigga is able to get the gains that he's able to get. Um, because he does so many reps and another big part of the gains that prisoners get is that they get to take naps during the day and then they get to get seven to eight hours of in uninterrupted sleep every night, right? You can work out all you want. You can take all the supplements you want you can take all the steroids you want, the testosterone, and you can work out all you want. But if you are not going to sleep and you're not taking naps, you are not going to get no gains, man. The gains is when you go to sleep. That's when your body repairs. That's when the muscles heal and they repair themselves. And that's when you grow, right? 100%, 100%. So, you know, when I was working out, um, how many exercises for chest did you do in prison weight pit? We would do bench press, incline bench, and dips. My our chest day would be probably uh, ten sets of flat bench, ten, eleven, twelve sets of flat bench, six sets of incline bench, and then another five or six sets of dips right after weighted dips. You know that would be our chest day. We did chest day on Sunday. And I will start off with, um, I'll come back to that. But I saw dudes that took supplements in prison. And, you know, we used to call them cheaters. You know, the niggas that didn't take supplements, we called them cheaters because it they needed something else to get them the physique that they had. Ramzan, what's up, man? Ramzan, I gotta go check on your um I'm checking on your hoodie Monday. I'm checking on your hoodie Monday. Thank you for the super chat. Hello, Sean. I've done all the pre-workout powder, protein bars. All that except steroids in my teens until my mid 20s. Looking back, I wish I invested in more quality food rather than all that shit. Shout out, thank you all the way from Norway. So, we called them cheaters, 
right? And them niggas was strong now. Don't get me wrong. When they got on that creatine and the protein powder and steroids or whatever they on, and when they took the hydroxy cut, they were chiseled and they were built, right? But if a week went by and the CO didn't bring in the protein powder or they couldn't go hit the fence, hit the hill and get their supplements, if, if for whatever reason, a week or two, the supplements couldn't get on the compound, you would see their bench press numbers go down. You would see their squat numbers go down. You know, he may be benching 405. He may max 405 on a week that he's taking his creatine, his all his supplements. And then the next week, they couldn't get the supplements on the compound. Or two weeks, his bench will go down 375. He could barely hit 375, 350, right? And we used to watch this, right? When they was on it, they numbers went up. When they came off, their numbers went down. And with me, my numbers stayed the same. My numbers stayed where they was at, or I would incrementally go up five or ten pounds. You understand? And um, so that's why I never took supplements when I was in prison. You understand? Um, and we used to call them niggas cheaters, right? Because I look at it like this. I look at it like this. You know, it's like a mental handicap if, to me, it's like a mental handicap if I feel like I got the, as soon as I'm done working out, I got to take something out of a canister that was made in a laboratory and put it in something and then put it in my body. Then it's not really me. I can't take credit for it. My opinion. You do what you want to do. You understand? Um, holistic glove, what's going on? But let me get back to um to the to the to the bench press routine we used to do. So when we would do bench on Sunday, I would go out there, I put a 45 on each side, and I would warm up. I would do that for 10 reps. I would do that for 10 reps. Then my second set. I will go up to 185 and I would do probably one or two reps. The third set, I will go up, I would do 225 for one or two reps. Rack it up. My fourth set, I would do 275. I would do 275 for one rep, right? Then my fifth set, I will go up, and if my max was 315 or 325 or 335, whatever it was, I would put my max on there, and then I would hit my max for one rep, right? That's five sets, right? My sixth set, I will come down to 275 and try to rep it as much as I could to failure. Maybe seven, six, seven reps, 275. My seventh set, I will come down to 225 and maybe hit it for like 13, 14, something like that. The best I ever did was 17 on 225. Then my eighth set, I will come down to, or I may stay at 225 and do like two or three more sets to failure, right? So that will be eight and nine. Then my 10th set, I will come down to 185 and do that to failure. Then the 11th set, I will come down back to 135 with a 45 on each side and then just rep that out for 20 or whatever however many I could get, 25, and my chest would be exploding through my shirt. And then we would, that would be the flat bench. And then maybe toward the end, when we get back to the 135, 
as soon as you rack the 135, a nigga will be handing you the dumbbells, 100 pound dumbbells, and you have to fall back with the dumbbells and hit the dumbbells, right? And then we will go to, to the incline and do five or six sets of incline. And then I will go, we will go do weighted dips. And um, it was just an insane chest workout. And I remember, man, toward the end, like my veins in my chest started to bust. I used to have blood in my chest from like the veins busting. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Then we would go to the dip bar. After the um, incline, five or six sets, we would go to the dip bar, and then I would do, we would do weighted dips. We put a 45 on the belt, do as many as we can, put two 45s on, 90 pounds, do as many as we can, put three 45s on, and try to get one. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. And, um... That's 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 how I that's how we did that's how we did uh that was my that was my chest chest workout. Me and my nigga Mister. That was our chest workout. I never took supplements. I don't take supplements now because you know, I'm just confident in myself and I'm confident in my um, my workouts. See, my workout is proven. My calisthenics workout is proven. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's proven that it works. You know what I'm saying? So I don't... My branch chain amino acids, I get that from eggs. I eat a lot of eggs. I eat, I eat probably two dozen eggs a week. In the eggs, I got protein, I got vitamin A, and I got branch chain amino acids. I eat all kinds of meat. Every kind of meat you could think of. Pork, fish, chicken, turkey, beef. Everything crazy amount of protein in the meat um and then i drink i drink my i drink my my smoothies wayne Gaines, what's up right now i'm eating a tomato with salt and pepper on it i just did 500 push-ups i didn't eat no I ain't eat no protein yet. All right, Ramos, I'll give you a call. Um, so, my confidence in my workout, and if I go into a battle, if I go into a battle, a calisthenics battle, right, I know that I can go into that battle that I'm taking... Like, whatever, I'm taking me into that battle, right? I don't have to say, like, yo, I got the, I got the creatine up. I got the protein up, um, you know, to go into this battle. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I can feel comfortable and confident that what I've been training is what I'm taking into this battle. And I don't have to worry about... Do I have enough supplements in me to win the battle? You know, so it's just something with me. You know, I don't take no supplements and I never will. And I never will. Um, and that's just how I'm living. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I'm living. I get great results. You know, for a man of my age. Remo, so I'm gonna call you when I get off. Now I got your text. Uh, for a man of my age, you know, I already look good. I, I don't need to get big. I don't wanna be big. I just wanna look good for the women. 
right? And I want to feel good for myself. And, um, you know, that's all I do. You look at these dudes that take supplements, man, you know, you can see their body change, man. Slow up with red meat and pork, Sean, and eggs are bad, cholesterol bound. Get out of here with that, man. You don't tell me what to do. You don't know what you're talking about. You live your life the way you want to live your life. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. I studied the egg. See what I'm saying? See, this is what, this is what eggs and pork and chicken and beef get me. You understand? I'm different from you. I'm different from you. Don't never tell me what to do. You do what you do. You understand? Don't come at me. I know my body. I'm 55 years old when I look like this. You understand? And I eat pork bacon, pork chops, hog moles and chitlins, skins out the bag. You understand? Two dozen eggs a week. I drink milk. Everything, everything that all the suckers say don't do, I do, you understand? They telling you don't do this, don't eat that, but they ain't telling you they take steroids or they take a hydroxy cut. I don't take no hydroxy cut, nothing, you understand? So don't never tell me to slow up on no meat. I've been eating meat 55 years, been eating pork 55 years, been eating eggs 55 years, huh? You tell me what to do. No medication. No medication. Just shit. Just saying on the health tip, brother. Proving stats red meat and pork is bad over time for your system. Brills, inmates eat all kinds of shit. High sugar, sodium. Hey, Brills, Mo, let me tell you something, man. And I don't mean no disrespect to you. You know, because you follow my channel. I see you here all the time. Let me tell you something, man. At the federal prison that I was in, listen to what I'm telling you. And you can ask anybody that's been in the feds. My nigga worked in the kitchen. A bunch of niggas I knew worked in the kitchen. And when the truck would come in, to drop off the food, Brillsmo. On the box, written on the box of the hamburgers or the hot dogs or whatever food that they served us, on the box, Brills, the box said, not for human consumption. Printed on the box, not for human consumption. And they fed it to us anyway, and we ate it. So you do what you want to do, bro. But stop listening to people, man. You understand? Don't do this. Don't do that. And they don't look like nothing. And if they look like something, they telling you, oh, I don't do this. I don't do that. But they ain't telling you what they do. See what I'm saying? Nigga, I've been eating hog moles and chitlins, man. The pig, nigga, my whole life. Huh? What? I ain't lifted weights in goddamn since 2018? Huh? What? What you trying to say, man? Eat eggs, pork, all that. So what's wrong with me? Why I look like this? Why I ain't on high blood pressure? Why I ain't got cholesterol? Why I ain't got none of that? Because niggas don't know what the fuck they be talking about. People just be talking. Everybody's a parakeet. Oh, I heard him say that. So let me go over here and say that to them. And then they go over there and they hear some fly nigga say something. And then two days later, they across town and they repeating something that that nigga said. Everybody's a parakeet. I don't listen to none of y'all. All 63 of y'all in here, 
all eight billion of y'all on the planet. I don't listen to none of y'all. I don't like none of y'all because you're all liars. You're scared to be who you want to be. You're scared to say what's on your heart. You're wearing a mask. You, I don't want to be like none of y'all. I trust me. I got me. I trust my own way. I trust my own way. I do it my way. I'm gonna go eat some bacon in a minute. I'm gonna go make me. I'm gonna go make me a pork bacon sandwich in a minute. Hmm? Everybody following the follower, and the nigga they following lost, and the follower lost. I don't like none of y'all. I don't like near one of y'all eight billion people except Little Sean and Kyrie. Them the only niggas I like, because they don't lie. Rest of y'all niggas lie. I don't wear no designer clothes. I wear my own clothes. Nigga, don't you see this? Don't you see these clothes, man? I wear my own clothes, man. This my, these my clothes. These my clothes, man. These my clothes. Hmm? These my clothes. I wear my clothes, man. I don't wear no other person clothes, man. I wear my clothes. See, it's all my clothes, man. I ain't like you. Got to wear this clothes and drive this kind of car. I'm already dope. I'm already dope. I've been fly. I've been fly. No, not Kyrie, the basketball player. Another nigga named Kyrie. You don't know. You don't know. Hmm? Where the Mavs at? That's all, that's all I want to know, man. Where the Mavs at? You got see, you got a turtle shell, or you or you don't got a turtle shell. You, you got the turtle shell. You either got a turtle shell, or you ain't got no turtle shell. One of the two. One of the two. So that's what it is. Why I'm fifty five years old and. They, they say, oh, when you turn 29, you start losing testosterone. I'm a foundational black American, nigga. That's my nationality. What's your nationality? Foundational black American. That's what I am. I ain't from Africa. I'm not from the Caribbean. I'm not from Europe, Asia, South America, Central America, Africa, Antarctica, Russia, China. I'm the slave nigga from America. And that's why I look like this. See, let me show you this this physique right here. Tell you who I am. See, we got the best genetics in the world. You understand? We got the this is who I this is some foundational Black American slave genetics. We were bred. The foundational Black American slave was selectively bred. It was called selective breeding. They bred us like you breed animals, a game dog. How you breed a cow? How you breed? Uh, a horse, you take the strong horse that won the Kentucky Derby, that won uh, the Triple Crown, and the owner of that horse sells his horse to other horse owners that have female horses. And he say, they say, bring that male horse over here so he can mate with my female horse, and then hopefully the child or the offspring will be strong like the father. And that's how you make championship horses. Moorish American, what is a Moorish American? The Moors were from Northern Africa, they went up into Spain. What do you mean Moorish? Moorish American, what is that? I don't understand that. So what they did was like, they would take me, right? Like if I was a slave, which I never would be, they would, they would take me, Luna, chill out. Stop running around. I'm on my life. They would take me and they would say they had like six women over there. And I would go over and I would impregnate all six of those women. 
and hopefully they'll all be boy children and all the boys will come out with genetics like this. You understand? And that's why the foundational black American is the greatest athlete in the world. You could go to Africa, you can go to Jamaica, you could go to Haiti, you could go to Europe, you could go to China, Russia, Israel, Palestine, Ukraine, uh, Africa, don't matter. And get the best of the best from those group of people and bring them and compete them up against the slave nigga from America, the foundation. Foundational Black America and the Foundational Black American gonna make him look like a little boy. Can't nobody, nobody got genetics like us. Nobody. Cause we were selectively bred like animals. Niggas don't like to talk about that cause most Foundational Black Americans are ashamed of their heritage. They're ashamed of their slave past. They're ashamed to be black. They hate being black. They hate who they are. Self-hatred and self-rejection has been genetically passed through them down the line uh, from grandmother to mother to daughter to child, you understand? But you don't, you ain't gonna never look, look at why I look like this. Why, what is the reason that I could look like this? Hmm? And let me say this, one of the staples one of the staples of our diet, the slave, the nigga slave, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana, Maryland, uh, West Virginia, there was even slaves in New Jersey, slaves in New... One of the staples of the food that we ate was the pig. Luna, sit down. I'm not gonna be putting up this shit. It's locked out. Who is that right there? Goddamn Trivision. I need y'all to go and subscribe to Trivision's uh, YouTube channel. One of the main things Trivision, Trivision. We ate the pig. Excuse me. We ate the pig. We ate the cow, the beef. We ate coon, raccoon, squirrels. We grew our own tomatoes, corn, tomatoes, pecans. But the main thing, the main thing was the pig. Bacon pork chops, ribs, hog maws and chitlins, pig feet, pig ears, pig snoop, everything, right? And through selective breeding, right? When you breed, when you take a dynamite pit bull, a male, a dynamite male pit bull. This ain't racist, nigga, this is real. Look at this sucker, you can't take the real, man. You take a dominant alpha male pit bull and you find a female and you make that pit bull with that female and the offspring has is gonna have the same genetics as the mother and the same genetics as the father. So if you take a big bone black buck slave and then you find a voluptuous woman with nice breasts but them big bone girls, them thick honeys, and they have a baby, the baby is going to be, the genetics is going to be crazy, right? And then you're talking about back then, there were no hospitals, there was no Walgreens, there was no Rite Aid. There was no, you go to the emergency room to, to, to deliver the baby. You delivered the baby at home. You didn't have no joint to shoot him in. You know, there was no pills. There was no nothing. It was a natural birth. And then the baby grew up. Look at, look at, just look at history, man. You may not like what I'm saying. 
Nobody, see, this is why I don't like you. This is why I don't like y'all. Because when you hear the raw truth, you cringe. And you fear strikes in your soul because you don't want to be told the truth. You want to be lied to. That's what you like. You don't want to deal with the truth. You understand? But that's the facts of the matter. You may not like it. Who can beat? Let me ask y'all a question. Who can beat? Who? What race of people has the greatest athletes in the world? Who, who produces the greatest athlete? Answer me. I already know the answer. But let me ask it this way. Let me ask it this way. Russia, no, Russia. Who could beat the nigga? Who can beat the foundational black American at anything in this world? Not blacks. Because you got blacks in Africa, you got blacks in Jamaica, blacks in Haiti. They can't know. You could go to Africa. It's two billion Africans. You can go to Africa. You can get the best African you could get. You can take 15 of them and put them in a blender and put the Jamaican in there, put the Haitian in there, put the, 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 the Dominican in there, the Cuban in there, the, the South American, the Brazil. Put them all in there. Put it on the top like this. Put them all in there. Put them all in there and shake them up and pour out one super person from all them countries. And then you bring them here to America and you tell them, say, now go play with them niggas right there. And you put them on the field with some foundational black Americans and the, the nigga, the foundational black American gonna make them look like a little boy. It's just something about us, man. It's just something about us. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. But we we the best athletes ever. We got the best genetics. We look the best. That's what it is. And everybody want to be us. Everybody want to be us. Everybody. Look at how I look at 55, man. This I'm 55 years old. I'm 55, and I swear to God, may the sun, moon, and stars take my eyesight so that I never see little Sean again. And in the same breath, take little Sean's hearing so he could never hear my voice again. If I take any kind of steroid, TRT, HGH, protein powder, creatine, anything, if I'm lying. Something about us, man. Nobody don't want to talk about this because y'all are liars. You like lies. You don't want the truth. Hey, Muhammad. Hey, Muhammad. Goddamn, why I look like this, Muhammad? Why I look like this, man? Shit, man. Look at them traps, man. Huh? What? And I don't lift no weights. LeBron ain't the best. Kobe Bryant bust his ass. Kobe Bryant, the best basketball player ever. So, that's it. But this all, I'm sorry I got off on a tangent, but this is my man telling me, Sean, chill off the, chill off the red meat, chill off the pork chill off the eggs man that's all i eat that's all i eat huh it's pork beef steak hamburger pork bacon pork chops hog morgue chitlins huh what two dozen eggs a week yeah Y'all don't want the truth.
high protein foods is the best. Right. If you want to put on muscle, if you want to put on muscle, you should be eating. Right now, I weigh 167 pounds. I'm 166.7. Kieran Kennedy, what's up? I'm 166.7. If I decided, right, because I already look good. My physique is already money. Who that right there? Goddamn Jules O.C. Mr. G, don't hold his words back, right or wrong. Got to respect the man standing on his square. Shout out to my nigga Jules O.C. Jules, all the best to you, man. You stay safe, man. I know what's up with you. I know where you at. If I said, like, see, I already look good. Look at them eyebrows right there. You ain't got them eyebrows like that. And them bowls of soup. So you can put some soup in there and eat soup out of there. I got them. See, I'm all dented up. I'm all dented up. Look at them eyebrows right there. You don't got that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no crease right there. You ain't got no crease under there. But anyway, I already look good. Right? But if I wanted to look better, I'm 166 pounds. I would say, Sean, for the next 30 days straight, we're going to do 10 sets of 10. 10 pull-ups, 10 dips, 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 40 reps, 400 reps. And in them 30 days, every day, I'm going to eat 100 grams of protein, Muhammad. I'm going to make sure I eat at least 100 grams of protein. Probably two cans of tuna fish. That'll be the tuna fish I eat has 33 grams per can, 66 grams. I'll eat four eggs. That's 24 grams. 66 and 24 is 90. And then I maybe eat like a steak later on. And that'll put me like 108, 112. If I do that for 30 days, 100 grams of protein a day, 10 sets of 10 for 30 days, yo. My shit would get, I would be ridiculously big. But I, I don't want to do that. When I was in prison, I did that. When I was in prison, I made sure I ate at least 100 grams of protein every day. Now I may eat 50 grams of protein per day. 60, maybe. But I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't want to get big. I don't, I, I just want to look good. I just want to look good. That's all I want to do. Posh love, when you get done, what do you do when you get hungry after workout? I just worked out. I just did 500 push-ups. I just did a workout of 500 push-ups. I ate some cottage cheese. I had a little bit of left of cottage cheese. I, I eat a lot of cottage cheese for the protein. No sugar, no carbs, light sugar. Cottage cheese is the best source of protein. I came home, I was gonna cook some chicken, but I said, nah, I ate a bell pepper and I just ate some a tomato and I'm drinking a smoothie. So I haven't even eaten no protein. I haven't even eaten after the workout. Yo, somebody hit this nigga with the wrench, keep asking me to do a set of pull-ups, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Somebody hit him with the wrench, man. Where my wrench crew at, man? Time him out for like a minute. Time him out for like five minutes, man. So that's what I do. I eat whatever I want. I eat whatever I want. Whatever. But I work out every single day. Every day. Y'all go on my website and get this shirt. This is my shirt right here. You can get this one. This one's got oh, the signatures all over it. This is an extra large. If you if you super chat me, who's that right there? The brown effect. Sean G say we from Planet Look Good and it's mandatory shirt off day. It's mandatory shirt off. If you can't take your shirt off, something wrong with your self-esteem. If you, if you super chat me right now, 
These are $35 on my website. These are $35 on my website. If you super chat me $35 right now, I'll send you the shirt, I'll pay the shipping, and I'll call you on the phone. Right now, this shirt. These shorts are $95. This is embroidered. This is embroidered in the short, part four. These are $95. If you super chat me um, $100, I'll send these free shipping and I'll include uh, a shirt. I'll send you a shirt too. And I'll call you on the phone. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, Michael Ortega, laugh out loud. They done sold all over the world, sucker. Just because you don't buy one don't mean they ain't selling, chump. <laughs> laugh out loud at that. Laugh out loud at that. I got no sweatpants, I got no long sleeves. It's summertime, so I got these shorts. These are uh, extra large. Extra large. And then I got, uh, I got the orange ones. What are these? These are 2X. These are 2X, dope, dope shorts, man. Dope, nice and lightweight. Nice and lightweight. Nice color. So when you walk into the pool party, when you walk into the pool party, you're going to be the only nigga with these kind of shorts. They're going to say, damn, where you get them from? I like them. All the honey's going to be jocking your shorts. They're going to be sweating your shorts. Like, damn, I want to give him some. Look at them shorts he got on. OG, what's up? Been in the same spot for years. Are you elevating? Who are you talking about? Me or are you talking about yourself? That you've been in the same spot. You talking about me or you talking about yourself? Is it possible to get to 240 pounds with just body weight calisthenics? How, how much do you weigh now? What do you weigh? 20 pounds now? You weigh 100 pounds? You gotta put all the information up. How the hell am I supposed to know what you're able to do? King Boo, I watch your videos every day. Be back soon. I'ma hit this 30 down. Man, you see what this 30 down to do, man? You see what it do? You see what it do. Is it possible to get to 212, 40 pounds? I don't know. That's up to you. It's how hard you want to work. How hard you want to work? I don't know what your body is. I don't know your discipline. I don't know your attitude. I don't know how many times you work out. That's up to you. I don't know. Quit asking people about what you can do. Ask yourself. Go look in the mirror and ask yourself what can you do. How the hell am I supposed to know what you can do? Can you do it? I'm going to ask you, can you? Ask yourself. Nah, I ain't no gym. I don't go to no gym. I don't go to no gym. I don't go to no gym. I raised my sets. I raised my sets up. Hold on, let me go on this one, man. Hold on, y'all. Ramon Civils. I raised my sets up to 10 sets of 12 on pull-ups, push-ups, dips, and 20 each set for squats. I've seen the best gains I've seen, and everyone can't believe I don't touch weights. Count status. Don Corleone. What's good, G? A F with your shorts. With the shorts you be making, they motivate me. How I found your channel. Thank you, Don Corleone. Iceberg, how a big boy like me that weighed 365 start getting that pull-up money? I could do sets of 30 on push-ups, but can't get one pull-up. 
how I get that money, Sean. You got to lose weight, man. You're too fat. You're 365 pounds. You're too fat. You got to lose weight. How tall are you? How tall are you? Curtis, what's up, Sean? New to your channel. How would your routine look if you needed to lose some weight? My routine would be the same. If I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to stop eating. I'm a fast. That's how I lose weight. And I do a lot of cardio. I don't change my routine. Six one three hundred sixty five pounds. You fat man. You borderline. You probably you diabetic. High blood pressure. You probably got all of that. You got to drop down. You got to drop a hundred pounds, man. You got to drop a hundred pounds. And I'm gonna tell you a story, iceberg. I'm gonna tell you a story. Prison story. Cause you could do it if you want to. I don't know if you could do it. You gotta ask yourself if you could do it. I'm in the feds, right? And I see this nigga on the spin bike. I used to hit that spin bike religiously. You want to lose weight? You want to get lean? Hit the spin bike. So I see this nigga on the spin bike every day. Every day, same time, this nigga under the TV, watching TV on the spin bike. So there was a spin bike next to him. So I slid up next to him. I started a conversation with him. And I said, man, you on this spin bike every day. He said, yeah, man. He said, when I came here to prison, he said, I was 319 pounds. And when I first got here, when they used to call, uh, what they used to call that when all the niggas got to go health services to get their medicine, medicine call. Every year, every day, they call the niggas that take a lot of medicine in the morning, report the health services. He said, Sean, I was going down there every day. I was taking nine pills. Nine pills. I was 319 pounds. And he said, man, I was determined to get off all that medication. And he said, I started doing this spin bike. And he said, six months later, I'm down to 191 pounds and I'm off all my medication. So it's possible. It's possible. I'm 265 pounds, only 26 years old with three kids. I need help. How tall are you? How tall are you, Juan Ortega? 265 pounds. But see, the thing is this. This is how you lose weight. This is how I lost weight. I was 195 pounds. I'm only 5'7". I was fat. I was fat. Borderline diabetic, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, sleep apnea, constant acid reflux, uh, erectile dysfunction. I was fucked up. And I started losing weight when I got in prison. And my goal, I set a goal for myself. I said, Sean, don't tell yourself you need to lose 20 pounds by next month. I said, just tell yourself you want to lose one pound per week. An easy goal. Just lose one pound per week. And at the end of 15 weeks, I'll be down 15 pounds, which is a huge amount of weight to lose. And that's how I did it. When I went to prison, I was 195. When I left, I was 171. And I ain't never been back up since. Juan Ortega, you 5'6", 265 pounds, you fat. You too fat. You got to change your diet. You got to put down the sugar. No sodas, no Snapples, 
no fruit drinks. You should be eating, drinking water with every meal. Drinking water with every meal. And you and Iceberg, don't lift no weights. If you already fat and you're trying to lose weight, don't lift weights. Because the weights is going to make you hungry and you're going to keep eating. The first thing you should do is do cardio. Just do cardio, 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 cardio for three or four months straight until you lose 60 pounds, 80 pounds. More cardio, 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 cardio until you get down to around 160, 170, 180. Then you come back and you start hitting the weights after you shrivel your body down to nothing. Yeah, I cut out the bread too, all that. Once you get down to a decent weight, then you lift weights, man. That's how you do it. But for my man to be 6'1", 365 pounds, and for Ortega, for you to be 5'6", 265, y'all niggas, does, that's no good, man. You're killing yourself. You could do better, and you should do better. And it's your responsibility to do better. What else? Who next, man? King Boo, I was one, I was 276, now I'm 199. Keep going, y'all. Iceberg, I'll take a break off the weights then. I hit him like a hog. I bench 450 and squat and deadlift 600. But I got to drop some weight. Thank God for advice. Fuck them weights, Iceberg. Get off them weights, man. 365 pounds, man. I mean, unless you unless you want to be that big, you know what I'm saying, and you power lifting and you competing, I don't know what your goals are. But if you want to look lean, if you want to maybe drop down 100 pounds and be 265 and look crazy, I don't know what it is you want to do. But 6'1", 365... You got a stomach, right? Juan Ortega, thanks bro, I need to hear that. Shout out to you, Juan. Shout out to you. You got a stomach, right? Iceberg, you got a stomach. You don't want no stomach, man. You wanna have, you know what I'm saying? And mine ain't the best. I got fat, look at my fat right there. Look at my fat. Look at my fat. I'm, I'm not the best, but you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way. I got that little joint coming right there, right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm leaning this way. Man, when I was when I was 195 pounds, iceberg and one, I was like this, nigga. I was like this. I was like that. Dick wouldn't get hard. I was taking Viagra, Vi Vi uh, uh, Viagra, Cialis, all that. Yeah, man, you ain't got no stomach, man. That ain't the look. I mean, unless you... If you want that look, if I lift weights, I'm going to eat like seven times in a day, man. And I'm a short dude. I'm 5'7". Seven. I'm 5'7". Let me show y'all right now so y'all can see. So y'all don't think I'm lying. Now I'm holding the camera in my hand. One sixty-eight point three. I was a boiled egg with legs, man. That's exactly what I was. So I'm a hundred and sixty-eight. I'm a hundred and sixty-eight. Now this morning, this morning when I woke up, this morning when I woke up, I was a hundred and sixty-six point seven.
I'm an ectomorph. I need to eat a lot of good fats and carbs to maintain weight. Every two hours I need some, and I have a fast burning process for me. It's hard to put weight on. What is your body type? I don't know what the hell an ectomorph is. I don't know what my body type is. My body type is nigga. My body type is slave nigga. That's my body type. That's all I know. I don't know nothing about counting macros, ectomorph, endomorph, this, that, calories, this, that. I don't know none of that. I don't want to know none of that. Don't confuse me. When I want to lose weight, I eat once a day, I fast, and I do a lot of cardio. When I want to get bigger and put on weight, I eat more protein. That's it. I, it ain't really hard for me. I don't know. Belly fat is the last thing to go because your body tries to preserve fat storage. Yeah, my belly fat. I got belly fat. Look at that belly fat right there. I don't care. But I still have good sex with women. I love women. My dick be hard as a rock. And I'm 55, and I don't take no Cialis and no uh, Viagra. I wake up in the morning, my joint be right. And I've dealt with some women. I've dealt with some women younger than me that tell me that they have been with younger dudes in their 30s that got erectile dysfunction in their 40s. You know what I'm saying? And... That's important for me, right? Because I love having sex with women. So I need to be right. I'm gonna make sure I stay right. Sean, did you work out with a deck of cards in prison? Nah, we didn't do that. I don't do no bench, man. I do all calisthenics. Yo, Muhammad is asking y'all why there's no likes in this live. Y'all gotta hit the like button, man. Go up there and hit the like. Scorpio Maxwell, who am you, why? What the f Is Lil Sean going to college? I don't know yet. Brother, you gay as hell. Don't lie, you down low. All right, whatever you say, man. Did you ever get down in prison? Get down what? Fight? Get! 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 Weighted calisthenics, what's your weighted dip? push-up weight. I don't do weighted calisthenics right now. I'm just doing regular calisthenics. Mandatory share of a march. I don't do weighted calisthenics. I, I, I'm, I'm 55 years old. So you can't, don't look at me. You know what I'm saying? If I was, if I was younger, if I was in my 20s, I would probably be lifting weights. I would probably be doing weighted calisthenics. I would be trying to get bigger. But I already, I already look great. Look at how I look. I mean, look at this, man. I already done put the work in. This is 10 years. This is 10 years of work. 10 years of discipline, 10 years of consistency, 10 years of diet, 10 years of sleep. 10 years of naps, 10 years of cardio, 10 years of calisthenics. This is this is this is 10 years, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be big. I don't want to be big. I just want to look nice. And I already got that. Angel, you are lucky to be in good shape, man. No, I'm not lucky. This shit ain't no luck. 
The fuck you mean luck? You think this is luck, man? This ain't no luck. This is over a million push-ups, man. Hundreds of thousands of pull-ups. Hundreds of thousands of dips. H hundreds, thousands of miles of running. This ain't no luck. You think I did this? <sighs> Rolled the dice and I got this? Man, I work for this. This is work, man. This ain't no goddamn luck. Y'all hit that like button, man. I am the problem. Greetings from Germany. Greetings from Germany. You inspired me. I try to become as fit as you, but I have a long way to go. Hubert McIntosh in Germany. That's all. Let him hate, man. King Jojo. Martez, what's up, man? Shout out to Martez. Read uh, As a Man Thinketh by, uh, by James Allen. The way this live showing on my phone, I can't see the like button. The like button is at the top. Hit those, you see those three dots at the top? Hit those three dots and the like button is up there. drinking now and I know it's my downfall listen to your videos to keep me sane I used to drink Roger Muhammad thank you man thanks for your sub so you know you got to find your own journey man but it's no luck there's no luck I work for this body man I work for this lifestyle ain't no luck be production think on my nigga Bruce y'all go on Instagram and follow B Productions on Instagram. What's good, big homie? This July marks my 10-year fitness journey. Started in prison July 2014. Just last year, ran the Philly Marathon. Much love, Big Sean. Man, listen, y'all got to go on my man Bruce's Instagram. He runs marathons. He does the Sparta challenges. You know, where they pick up the medicine ball. They jump all in the mud. They do crazy burpees. Follow him on his Instagram. What do you think of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? I read that. Good book. This is Sparta. What's up? The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is another good book. Yep, yep. The Brown Effect. got to put in the work, man. There's no luck here. Bruce, thank you for the super chat, man. There's no luck here. Man. Struggling with pull-ups. Still, any tips? Every day. Pull-ups is the hardest for me. Pull-ups is the hardest calisthenics movement because I'm pulling up my entire body. It's very, very difficult. And the only way I was able to do it to the level I could do it now is I did them every day. You gotta do them every day. You got to do them every day, man. 
Othorion, that's 0 0.5 reps. Your fake profile name is 0 0.5 reps. It's your fake life. Somebody hit you with the wrench, you ain't even last long. You ain't even last long with your fake profile. We don't do fake pro profiles over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. His girl called. Hello? What's up, baby? Oh, how many of y'all on here? Ho, 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 ho. I'm talking the same. 16? Come on, stop playing, man. It's 16 women on here. What's up? What's up, y'all? Y'all watching my live? Oh, your boyfriends. All your boyfriends on here? They got the fake profile? Oh. They love me. They tell you they love me. They tell you they watch all my videos every day. For real. They subscribe everything. Buy my merch, all that stuff. So why they come on here with the fake? With the fake? Oh, they self-esteem low. They self-esteem low. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Well, yeah, I know y'all love me. I love y'all too. Well, listen, why don't all y'all come get me later on, man? Use his car. Authority. This Authorion's lady? Yeah, come and get me in his car. Go, go get him. Tell him let you hold the credit card. Give you some money, and then come and get me in his car. And I'm gonna knock that shit down in the back seat, and then you take the car back to him with the smell in it. Yeah, I know you love me, baby. Yeah, bring me something to eat too. Bring me something to eat too. Bring me some hog malls and chillin', some collard greens, some black eyed peas, some macaroni and cheese, and some cornbread. Yeah, go to the soul food spot. What color panties you got on? Them yellow ones? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, come over here with them. Matter of fact, get in his car and take all your clothes off. And then when I come outside and I get in the car, you just have your panties on. In his car. And give him a kiss. Before you leave him, kiss him now. Tell him you love him. Give him a kiss. And then, you know, even let him touch it a little bit. And I'm going to come. I'm going to really touch it for you. All right, I love all 16 of y'all. Y'all tell them, tell them to go find something else to do. All right, man. All right. That was all y'all girl, man. All the fake profile niggas, all y'all girl on there, man. I got to take his girl. The halo kiss. Thing. You know what I got to do, man. Melissa Reynolds, what's up, man? Ayo, ayo, Martez, Martez, his girl gonna come pick me up in his car, man, in them yellow panties. She better have them on. She better have them on. She gonna have them on. You know why she gonna have them on? Because I told her to. That's why. Told my meniscus, OG. So I've been going on long walks for my rehab, listening to you talk your shit when I do them. All right, appreciate you, you warrior. Yo, y'all can't even last, man. My wrench crew mean, man. My rich crew is mean, man. All right, so what else y'all want to talk about, man? All y'all that, all the fake profile haters, go and buy some of my merch on my website. You understand? Get out of your mother's basement, put the weed down, and go and, go and buy some of my merch. Compliment King. Shout out to the Compliment King. Compliment King, thank you for your channel membership. What's the youngest honeys you've been knocking down in your 50s, bro? Hey, Iceberg, man, listen, man. In the 30s, man. In the 30s. I met this honey, man. I was like 50. Let me see. I think I was 50. She was 32. That pussy was super wet. Super wet. Yes, sir. 
I used to knock it down, kid. Yeah, man. Super wet, man. Shout out to Malaysia, man. Amir Harris over there in Malaysia. What's up, man? What's up with Malaysia, man? Robert Bishop, what's this live for? Just popped on feed. No disrespect, just one. Talking about calisthenics, man. Why I don't use no supplements. Yo, that thing used to be soaking wet, man. What's better than that, man? What's better than that wet joint, man? Compliment King, what do you think are the best age appropriate dating ranges? I don't know. Compliment King, you know me. I don't know about your life. I don't know about his life. I don't know about his life. I don't know about his maturity. I don't know about her maturity. I don't know about all the 8 billion people's maturity. And I don't care. But if a woman is mentally developed enough to relate to me. I'm not dealing with no kids. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not dealing with 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 nothing under 20. Right? Not me. But if a woman is mentally developed enough um I think that's all that matters. Right? What else matters? Because I've dealt with, I've dealt with, when I was in, when I was 50, I dealt with another 50 year old woman, compliment King, who acted like we was in the 11th grade. Possessive, stalker, emotional, violent. She was 50. So the mental development wasn't there. So the, the number age ain't nothing. Yo, Chan, what's up, man? Shout out to my nigga Chan. Jeff Colburn, what up? You ever gonna be a one woman man, Sean, or are you a bachelor the rest of your life? Um, we'll see. Time will tell Angel Alvarez. What's up, man? What you want, Angel? I got the shorts. I got this shirt. I got the um I got the um thank you for the super chat, Angel. I got this shirt. This is 35. But if you super chat me 30 now, I'll put in the shipping. The shipping is ten dollars. I'll pay the shipping. And I'll call you on the phone. Put your phone number down. We can we can rap on the phone. Benito, uncle in his 70s still having a baby. He's already got seven grown children. Use a real sucker. Somebody hit him with the wrench, man. Time him out for about a minute, man. See, you timed out for 86,000 seconds, man. You timed out. You come on here with the dumb stuff, man. Sean G, what do you think of muscle ups with it or what? I don't practice muscle ups. I don't do muscle ups. I don't do none of that stuff. I just work out to look great. I'm just sets and reps. That's it. What is the best way to start calisthenics? Start. What do you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you to run around the block eight times and drink a glass of milk and then start? Or you want me to tell you go start your car Right around the block, then start. Just start. When are we gonna see you, Lil Sean and Luna, in an official family picture? <laughs> Compliment King. You giving me inspiration to not look like you and continue. Nah, John P, you should have you should have hit him with that. You can let him say what he wanna say. Let him say what he wanna say. Brills more when the program's coming in. I don't know, Brills more. I thought about selling programs. I don't want to sell no programs, man. Cause then I gotta 
if I sell somebody a program and they don't work it and they don't do it, then they're gonna wanna talk to me on the phone, oh, it's not working. Then they go and trash me online. Sean's programs don't work, but really they didn't put in the work. I don't want to get involved in all that. You guys, if you want to support me, if you want to, if you want to talk to me on a one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime session with me, I'll do that. There's a fee, uh, $150 an hour. We'll get on the phone and I'll talk to you and I'll tell you what I did and I'll tell you you tell me what you want to accomplish and I'll tell you some things that maybe can help you get there but ultimately it's up to you I can't promise you nothing Sean, have you ever took a serious beating? If so, what's the worst you experienced? Why are you ask me some stupid ass shit like that, man? Get your ass up out of here, man. How many straight pull-ups can you do in my prime? I'm in my prime now. I probably could give you 31. The most I've ever did straight was 31. He's doing good, man. He's doing good. He's doing good. Now, the ambulance is here for your girl, man. Your girl got a broken heart because I don't want to be with her no more, so the ambulance is coming to get her. Yeah, yeah, I see you, John Pete. I see you. I see you. I don't know nothing about construction in New Jersey, man. I don't know nothing about construction in New Jersey. I don't know nothing about construction. Keith Wisdom, what's up, man? Thank you, man. What else? Any other questions, man? What book do you recommend to a 24-year-old? As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. The Compliment King. Thoughts on Tyson versus the Great White Hope. I don't know. I don't got no thoughts. I don't even think about that. I don't know what. Now, I'm not from New York. I'm from Jersey, man. I'm from North Jersey, which is right on the other side. Shout out to my nigga Jeff Coburn. Jeff, thank you, man. Jeff been rocking with me since about 2018-2019. He bought my books a long time ago, man. Yeah. I made a smoothie already. It's a, it's a banana in here already, man. It's already a banana in here. Jeff Coburn, appreciate you, man. Taking any pre-workout subs. <laughs> What's the title of the video, man? Did you read the title of the video? Javier, you know, man, I don't let that bother me, man. I just be having fun, man. Be trying to just make y'all laugh, man. And let the suckers know that they a sucker now. They're going to forever be a sucker. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Thank you, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on my Instagram, too, man. Follow my Instagram. Don't never stop. Look at this dude. Don't hit him with the wrench. Noodler88. Look at his name. Who would name himself that? So he just sits there and answers questions. That's the channel. Yo, what kind of name is that, man? Why would you name yourself? Why would I name myself that, man?
Semmi che vuoi me? You have a tried prime? I don't understand how you talking, man. Still having trouble with the women. Might have to do that one on one. I cold approach five times a day. Ain't get lucky yet. So do five more. You got to up it ten times a day. Double the occurrences. Increase the success rate. Potential success rate. Got to go, OG, it's 4.40 a.m. in Malaysia. Got to start fasting as it's Ramadan. Eid Mubarak, God bless. All the best to you, man. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm tired, man. I'm finna get off. I've been on here an hour and a half, man. Maybe I'll go cook me some chicken now. Compliment King. When I meet you, Sean, I'm going to have some fresh bags of high-quality coffee for you. I usually don't drink it, but I made that time and tap cups. Shout out to my nigga. Shout out to my nigga. Compliment King. Matej, I did the 101 burpees plus 500 push up yesterday. Hey, hey, Matej. Matej. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you, hey, Matej, that's when you find out where you at, man. That's when you find out where you at, man. All right, man, all the best to y'all, man. Peace.